Today I'm going to show you a procedure that we do almost every day, if not two to three times a day, which is a myelogram in a dog. We've already done a pre-myelogram CT scan, and we're going to follow up by injecting some dye into the spinal canal, and then we'll repeat the CT scan to see if there's evidence of compression. So we have the dog in sternal recumbency here, and we've got our fluoroscope over there, and we can see um, the spine, and so I'm going in just cranial to one of the spinous processes, and then we'll do a quick fluoro, see where a needle is, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it from here, but the tip of the needle is right at the space between L5 and L6. So then I push in a little bit farther, and I'm right down into that space there. Now I'm gonna remove the stylet from the needle to see if we get any CSF. Now we've got CSF coming out there, which is fantastic, because that means that I'm definitely in the subarachnoid space. This is our equipment here. So we're using 300 milligram per ml uh, Omnipake or Hexel, and we're using 0.3 milliliters per kilogram. And then we have to top it up with 1.3 milliliters to fill the extension set, which is right here. So. Since we're getting CSF dripping out here, I know that I'm in the right spot. So I'm just going to attach my syringe and I'll inject a little bit and then repeat the fluoro and just make sure that we're getting dye going in the right place. So Camille is going to walk over to the screen so we can get a close up of that. And we can see the dye going in. And this is suspected to be a cervical disc rupture, and so it has to go all the way up into the neck. Now this dog is a bulldog, and so it has a lot of sites of hemivertebrae, but those hemivertebrae are not um, necessarily the cause of the paresis that we have in this dog. Um, and so it is about a grade three spine. It has. Um, Paresis in the front legs worse than the back, and I think it's worse on one side in the front and on the other side in the back. So we can see that I'm repeating the fluoro, and we can see the dye advancing up through the spinal canal. And we can see that the spine is taking a lot of curvature because of the hemivertebrae, but we'll have to confirm on the post myelogram CT scan whether there's compression at any of those sites. Given that the signs are mostly in the front legs, it's unlikely that the hemivertebrae is actually causing any compression. So just extending it further up here, you can see the dye extending into the cervical spine, and we can see the um, endotracheal tube there. We've got a, um, a rigid, what is it called? Reinforced endotracheal tube, which means that it's not going to kink over, which can occur in these brachycephalic dogs. So I've gone all the way up to, uh, I'm at C1 right there. So I'll just go a little bit further. So that's all the way up to the, uh, the brain stem. And so we shouldn't have to go any further than that. Um, so I'll just go back down and we'll review that site with the hemivertebrae there on the scan, on the fluoro, and we can see that there's no compression of the, um, of the spinal cord there. So anyway, when I'm finished, I'll review the scan, um, uh, the CT scan uh, on a separate stream. But that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. And I do intend to live streaming some other surgeries today. So we'll see you again soon. Just the X in the corner.